Rockstar just added a new payout change to Red Dead Online's really fun mission that actually takes place in a historic Civil War 4, and I think players are really going to enjoy earning their completion rewards now with these recent changes because the mission was already really fun and now it just got even better. With the February event 2 Red Dead Online well underway here, we have the payouts for gold, money, and XP that have all been doubled for legendary and infamous bounties all month long. And so today, I figured it was a good time to jump in with yet another live gameplay of one of these missions while the rewards are still doubled so we could see how much money, gold, and XP we can make and also just have a fun time playing the game. Considering this is actually a low tier bounty with a base payout lower than most other legendaries that you can do in the game. I'm actually pretty satisfied with the payout that we got for our time spent on it. There's also a few strategies and tips I have in this video to make this experience easier if you're having trouble and also more enjoyable for you while you play. So as we get started, make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. I normally go into the front of the fort to play this. It's, it's unfortunately very misty and foggy out for this mission. I wish for the sake of the video it was a little bit different, but yeah, let's run in, let's do... What's something we don't normally use on a mission to... Like, double actions I never really use, Litzfield is definitely my least used repeater. Let's use a bow as well, just to make it interesting. You know, this isn't like, the hardest loadout to use, certainly not, but it is, it, it is gonna be fun. Maybe now we'll start using Paint of Black. <laughs> I think this is a creative loadout, don't you say? Alright, I think that's everything I gotta deal with. Time to start looting these guys. Bow and arrow, they ain't us! You know it. <laughs> Lots of arrows to the face. And... Garrett made a good point last stream. Or not last stream, but a few streams ago. The bows are just great, because the enemies never despawn. At least, for a while. As long as the arrow's in them... You're good to go. Is this guy upstairs? Yeah, he is. Imagine if one day Rockstar gives us property and horses update. As much as I love it, man. I mean, that, that is a dream, but that's all it is. A dream. <laughs> Those were in the cards at one point, but not anymore, sadly. And Notorious, welcome in. How you doing, man? Oh, these guys are already in the fort. Alrighty. Double action time. Destroyed. Oh, hello. These things are so weak, bro. It's hilarious. Same with the bow if you don't get headshots, but. We'll loot these guys. Forgot I had this. <laughs> Forgot I had this cheeks loadout. <laughs> yes. It's awful awful loadout. It just doesn't even make sense. Like, this literally isn't even a build. If I see someone using double actions, a lift field, and a bow, unironically, I'm gonna have questions for their playstyle in this game. <laughs> We have good, uh, map control on this bounty. Usually it gets, like, a little bit overwhelming, but I feel like the enemy spawns this time are a little bit spaced out. Like, we're not getting swarmed as we normally do on this bounty. It's always very manageable, but... I feel like this is one of the bounties where I do need to tonic up a lot, and the fact that we're not using good combination of weapons is... I wonder if that has anything to do with why the enemy spawns is weird today. Not weird, but you know, just different. Oh, 
Wasn't there another guy right behind here? Where'd he go? I swore there was a third guy. You guys saw him go behind here. Did he just despawn? Am I tripping out? I think so. Look at that. Look how weak these things are. They're already weak in the free room, but on tier 5 legendary bounties too. It's like the double actions like have never been worth using. The reload speed isn't even that much faster than the Cattleman's either, yet the Cattleman's are way more accurate and do way more damage. Oh, no way that missed. He's here. Wait. Did he already dip? I didn't even notice he spawned. Or did he just spawn? He just spawned. Okay. I was about to say, wait, is he fleeing? Because <laughs> I just sold on this mission, if that's the case. Oh, I'm sorry, horse. I didn't mean to almost... No! My poor horse! You evil, evil people. Five second truce. <laughs> I gotta revive my poor baby girl sub to hazard. Got a one-way ticket to hell! Holy, holy damage, holy DPS by the enemies. What the? Calm down now. Yeah, don't, don't you ever try that again. Joke's on you, you can't. Dismiss. I gotta hogtie this guy. Um, will you function the right way, game? Thank you. Let's see. Let's just headshot everyone. The game's prioritizing eating plants, but not looting the bodies. I love it. Rockstar logic. What's up, Agent? How you doing, man? Welcome in. Welcome to the stream. You came in at a fun time. We have a nice legendary bounty going. What are your favorite guns? Lancaster or Peter Good? Oh yeah, I, I still think it's the best in the game. Just the jack of all trades. Master none. Uh, Lancaster is definitely the most reliable, most consistent. Glitchfield does more damage. Evans has more ammo capacity. Repeater Carbine has more or a faster reload speed, but the Lancaster just has excellent damage, excellent rate of fire, excellent reload speed, excellent range, excellent damage range, excellent hip fire accuracy, like it's just it's just really good all around. Whereas all the other guns have a, have a pain point. Evans, because it has such a high ammo capacity, if you run out of all 26 rounds, you need to do a full reload. It's like a mini guitar solo. It takes so long. Litchfield suffers in the accuracy department. You know, that's just Rockstar's way of balancing the weapon out, right? So it needs to be that way. But the, the Lancaster is, I think, right where it needs to be. All right. And that is it. To jail we go. I actually don't know how long we've been on this mission for, I think. Deserve to get treated like this. Okay, about a 10 minute recording. We're gonna get to, I'm gonna, I wanna spend 12 minutes on this mission. I don't wanna, um, I'm not gonna wait the full 30, obviously, cause I'm live, but uh, yeah, we'll do 12 minutes for this mission so we can get our 64 gold nuggets. There should be some enemies on the way that are pursuing us, but we killed so many before we left. Maybe they won't even spawn. They should have like cover up here somewhere. They're not here. Mama, mama. Why does that happen? Is it because I kill, I hung around the fort and killed everyone that they're just not gonna give me any enemies on the way back? Because that's kind of the way it seems like right now. Mama, mama, quiet, Cecil. Quiet. So we will turn this sucker fry in, and that should be not at 12 minutes on the dot because we just were waiting and I forgot actually what time I started the bounty yet because I. I usually am keeping a track, but this mission I forgot. Gold payout is going to be the 12 minute interval. Cash, it may be 13, maybe even 14 minutes, honestly. We'll see. But it's it's within 12 minutes to 14 minutes, 59 seconds interval for gold. 
So 64 gold nuggets and probably like what 200 and he's a low tier bounty. So honestly, like only $200 probably around that maybe 210. I may even be over. So let's see 237. Okay. A lot better than I thought. And yeah, 64 gold nuggets. So it was in the 12 minute range. $237. What was that? 1625 XP or 1725 XP. Solid work, gentlemen. Pretty nice. Let's go.